This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Principles, the Data Tools Unit. I'm on Lesson 10, Reading Records, Puzzle 2. Reading Records. You've learned how Create Record can be used to create permanent copies of your data in a remote database. Yep. In order to use this data, you'll need a way to read it out of your database and back into your app. Yes. Check out the new command read records. This command can request from the database all the records stored in one table. Interesting. The database responds by sending an array of objects back to your program. And this is the thing that does occur, right? I know in a Google Apps script, there's some functionality similar to this. And in many APIs and different websites and things you can interact with and send data to, there's all the functions for this. Um, one object for every record in the table. As with create record, the data sent back by the database will come through a callback function in the records parameter. Got it. Note the database with table called my table already contains some data. Open the data viewer to look at the data in my table. Okay, all right, all right. Oh, population, cool. Is that the top three? It is top uh, four most populated cities in the US. All right. Add a red record command to your app. Read records command, got it. Add a council log. And Record. So we're just going to display the records parameter. Run the program to confirm. Boom. And it worked. Cool. So we have this record set as the parameter, and that's what we're going to get back from uh, the database or from our request to get the data out of the cloud. Cool. Awesome. Let's uh, keep going.